Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. So you said God loves everybody. What's wrong with God loving you and only you? What's wrong with that? You give my life every day. So let's get Baruch 3. Let's see what God is giving you as a gift. But you keep denying the gift. Over and over again today, you're denying God's gift to you. Showing you how much he loves you. But you're denying the gift. Watch this. Read. Baruch chapter 3 verse 36. Uh -huh. He has found our own the way of knowledge. So God has all the knowledge we need. We have to rely and trust on him, right? right. Read. And have given it unto Jacob, his servant. Has given it to Jacob, his servant. Jacob is the forefather of Israel. That's right. right. You understand that? Read. And to Israel, his beloved. So God loves the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans so much, he's given us all of his knowledge in the Bible. Right. But what happens is those other people that we try to include in God's love, they turn their backs on us, they hate us, and they do certain things to us. Now watch. Who is King David? <laughs> what, what does the Bible say about King David? King David wasn't that good. You say he wasn't that good? No. What a script that said uh, King David was a man after God's own heart? Because I thought you would have known that. They would have been teaching that in, the, in, in, in your church if they were reading the Bible. King David. You say he wasn't that good? Well, King David was from the tribe of Judah, one of God's beloved. You got that script? Let, let's say, let's see what the Bible says about David. Read. Acts chapter 13, verse 22. This is what the Bible, the, the way of knowledge, says about David. Alright? Read. And when he had removed him, he raised up unto them David to be their king. Uh -huh. To whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after mine own heart. God said that David, even in the midst of his wickedness, when he repented, uh -huh. God knew that David was after his heart. Uh -huh. Because we all going to go to uh, at, uh, 1 Kings 8. Because this is why repentance is in the Bible. We're helping our people to repent by giving them the knowledge of God. Right. When you stepped up here, you thought this was Jesus Christ. That's how I raised. That's how you were raised. Right. But is that what the Bible teaches? No. So the difference between how you were raised is tradition versus the truth. Right. The Bible is the truth, but we have been raised according to tradition. Right. Our people learn white man Jesus. And that's why we hate each other. That's why we have black-on-black -black crime in our community. Right. We don't seek God in one another. Right. So even as we're giving you the truth of the Bible, you're contesting it in your mind because you want to believe that the white man got all the truth. Right. When God, Christ, the angels, the apostles, the disciples, they look like you. They that's are right. your forefathers. That's, right. that's the truth of the matter. Right. And the truth of the matter is, David, one of your forefathers, is a man after God's own heart. Right. He right. repented from his sin. So yes, he was in his wicked ways. Which one of us is not? We have to learn how to repent honestly towards God and come and be those vessels and examples to our people. Right. And that's what David represented. Right. Let's get uh, 1 Kings 8. Read. This is what David taught his son to teach the community of Israel. Right. Read. First Kings chapter 8 and verse 46. Uh -huh. If they sin against thee, if we sin against God, for there is no man that sinneth not. So if any one of us say we haven't been in sin, we are lying. Right. We're sinning just by lying. Right. Read. And don't be angry with them. So God is angry with us. That's why we were sent into slavery on ships. Right. That is why we continue to die in our communities from uh, uh, alcohol abuse, drug abuse, prostitution, sex trafficking, the abuse of ourselves with mankind, homosexuality, 
messed up mindsets. We don't know how to deal with ourselves because we don't dwell in the truth of God. Right. Read. And deliver them to the enemy. So we have be been delivered to our enemies. So God is clarifying that everybody is not of us. Everybody don't like us. Everybody don't even love God. You understand that? And those same enemies that put you in chains and shackles are the same ones that put this image in front of your face and said, this is your God. Right. They made you believe in this so that you would never believe in the truth of the Bible. Right. You got to understand that. You got to understand that. Read. And they'll be angry with them and deliver them to the enemy so that they carry them away captives to the land of the enemy far or near. So is it truth or fiction that we were carried to this land here in America. On ships. Is that is that a fact or is that fiction? That's true fact. That is true fact, but the Bible, written before we even existed, already prophesied that that was going to happen to us for our disobedience. Right. Right. Us being in sin. But we didn't know that. We, did, we know it now. But I'm talking about... We know it, but watch this. Read on. Because we're talking about repentance. Watch this. Read. Verse 47. Uh -huh. Yet, if they shall be feeding themselves. Yet, if we understand that we are the children of Israel. You came up and you said African American. Yeah. But your, your best friend Bill Clinton is the one who signed an executive order saying that we were no longer going to be a people. We were going to be property. We were going to be noted as property by the name of African American. Right. See, this is the stuff that we don't have the opportunity to read. They try to keep it away from us. You ever read the whole Constitution? You ever read all the amendments? And guess what? They're hiding things from you in those writings. Because right. guess what? It's to build up their community. But guess what? Jeez. Guess what builds up our nation? The Bible. Right. As you learn who you are, come back to God's commandments, right. his laws, statutes, amendments. Just it, This is our justice, the Bible. You understand that? Read on. Yeah, and they shall be feeding themselves. So you see how you folded your arms and you sat back? You'll be thinking yourself now because you have been lied to all your life. See? You got to understand that. We we as young men are realizing we have been lied to. Right. We weren't always the best of students in school, but guess what? When the Bible started speaking truth, we started realizing what we saw here in America as our experience to be true according to God's prophecy. Right. 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 And that's what you got to... You got to subdue your own thoughts and trust in God. Right. Keep reading. In the land where they will carry captives uh -huh. and repent. So we're here in the land where we are repenting. In the land of our captivity. Where we're learning Christ is a black man. God is a black man. That's right. He's coming to save us and us alone. Right. He loved us so much that he gave us his truth, his knowledge, and his understanding in the words and prophecies of this book. Right. But we got to also realize people have been wanting us to not learn that. Right. They want us to be stuck Jeez. in this crazy existence. Bring it out. Read on. And made supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captives, uh -huh. saying, we have sinned. So when you repent, you have to get to the point where you say, God, I have done wickedly. Read that again. And made supplication unto thee uh -huh. in the land of them that carried them captives, Saying, we have sinned. We have sinned. We have to acknowledge what sins we have committed to make God so angry with us as a people. Guess what? When you don't know what the new moon is, you don't know what fringes are, when you don't know that you should not keep Christmas or Easter, and they teach these things in your church, we're sinning against God. Right. right. Matter of fact, finish that off. Finish that off. I'm going to show you Christmas is not something that we should do in the Bible. Watch this. Read. We have sinned and have done perversely. We have done perversely because Christmas, we're going to show you, it is idolatry. Read. We have committed wickedness. We have committed wickedness. You got to get to a point where you're going to say that. Let's get Christmas because your arms folding again. So you're thinking. You've been thinking yourself. All praises to the Most High God. Let's get Christmas in the Bible. Let's yeah. get verse 2. Is that what I want? Yes, sir. No, start at verse 1, because it's delivering a message to a certain people. Read. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. Uh -huh. yeah. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. O house of who? O house of Israel. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. That is the house of Israel today. Right. You understand that? We lost our name in slavery, but now we're getting it back according to the Bible. Right. Read right. verse 2. Verse 2. Thus saith the Lord. 
This is what God says to his people. Read. Learn not the way of the Eden. Learn not the way of the other nations. Right. The other nations would be the so-called Chinese man, right. so-called Japanese man, right. the white man, right. the Arab man, right. the African man. Right. We are learning their ways and bringing them into our household. Right. But right. we are the beloved of God. Right. We have a culture, a heritage better than everything else that this world can offer. Jesus. It's all written in the Bible. The same book that the white man does not want you to find yourself inside. Right. Learn not the ways of the heathen. That's what God says. Read. Learn not the way of the heathen. Uh -huh. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. You know how you can open a newspaper? Back in the day, you open a newspaper and they got the zodiac and the astrology section. God say, don't be dismayed at the signs of heaven. Those constellations and things. That's what the heathens are amazed at. Because guess why? God made the stars, the moon, the sun for you. No, hold it. Did you know he made it for you? I know that. You knew that. I know that. So why do you want to be equal with everybody else? Get up. Get up. Chinese friends. I had Chinese friends. I had Mexican friends. I had all that. Your, the Mexicans are your brothers. Yeah, Understand that. They're the same nation. But learn not the ways of the heathens, the other nations. Read. For the heathen are just made at them. Uh -huh. For the customs of the people are vain. So these customs that we learn are vain. They're useless. Ain't no good for us. Right. Because just earlier, a brother brought out to you on Christmas, during their, their custom of Christmas, we were the ones sold as gifts. Right. We were the ones given in chains and shackles for little white girls and little white boys to play with as property. Right. And now they put the name tag on us and call us African American right. to denote that we are property still in 2020. You understand that? Read on. For the customs of the people are vain. Uh huh. For one cut of a tree out of the forest. Uh oh. So this custom that is useless to our people, the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, it deals with a tree being cut out of the forest. Read. Get out. The work of the hands of the worker with the axe. Uh huh. They deck it with silver and with gold. So they decorate this tree in this vain custom. They decorate the tree with silver and gold. And they put angels and stars and little ball, red balls, green balls on this tree. They decorate it in a vain custom. Read. They fasten it with nails. They fasten it with nails or on a tree stand. Read. And with hammers. Uh -huh. They move nuts. That it move, not read. They are upright as a palm tree, uh -huh. but speak not. So we give all of our energy to this custom, but it does us no good. Right. Right. You understand that? Go back to verse 2. Verse 2, thus say of the Lord, this, Learn. this is what God says about that custom. Because don't that sound like Christmas? Oh, yeah. That is Christmas in the Bible, but guess what God says about it? Read. Thus say of the Lord, uh -huh. Learn not. The way of the heathen. God says, don't learn that custom. Right. And guess what? The Bible says don't learn it, but in every church during November and December, they're going to have a big old tree in the church. Right. right. We'll that in. This is, Jer call it and read it again. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 2. Yep. So Jeremiah chapter 10, the first five verses are going to explain a vain custom that we now know as Christmas. Right. That we should not do it. That's right. So that's the difference between tradition and truth. This is before Christ because it came from the history of Nimrod. Right. Yes. Where they were worshiping a tree. It's, it, it's, it's idolatry at the end of the day. Because now we try to say, oh, it's Christ's birthday. Well, Christ, the Bible say don't celebrate birthdays either. Right. Yes. So, this script is going to describe and give you the understanding to that. Read. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Yeah. Beware, lest any man fool you. So the Bible is giving the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans warning right. against those ways of the heathen. Right. It says beware. So we should be worried about these things that God is giving us warning about. Right. Right. You understand that? Read. Beware, lest any man fool you through philosophy. Philosophy. What is philosophy? 
Philosophy is a way of thinking, a way of living, a way of being, a way of existing. Right. It says beware of philosophies. And what? And they deceit and lies. Right. Through these philosophies. Christmas is a philosophy. Right. Right. Let me show you how Christmas is a way of when uh, uh, after Thanksgiving, matter of fact, before Thanksgiving, you start hearing the little jingle bells right. and what you start thinking about. Huh? When, when, when you see, when you think of the word Christmas, what colors come to mind? Family. Huh? With family. What colors come to mind? Christmas cheese, being with the family. Uh, see, you don't even want to answer the question. Right. Because it's a philosophy. Right. There are certain colors that get associated with the holiday. Right. Well, it's a holiday because God didn't ordain it. That's right. right. You understand that? So God is saying, learn not these ways and beware, lest any man spoil you. Right. You ever drink spoiled milk? And if you did, what would happen to your body? It, out. it would be no good. That's right. So guess what God is saying when we learn these ways of the heathen? We are no good to him. Right. Right. So we have to renew our mind and come out of this mental slavery that we're in today. Right. You're still in slavery right. when you worship Christmas. Because right. that's what it is, Christmas worship, right. Thanksgiving worship. And guess what? We make excuses and say it's about family. Bring it out. Guess what? God is about family when he says congregate on the new moon. Right. Congregate right. for Feast of Tabernacles, right. Feast of Dedication. Right. Your culture is about family. Bring it out. And that, guess what? Guess what, Michael? All these brothers you see out here? We are your family. Yeah, and guess what our last name is? Guess what our God-given name is, Michael? Get out. Israel. Right. And that's what we're giving to you as the beloved of God. Right. We're giving you the truth because we've been lied to. Right. So read that again from the top. Read. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Uh -huh. right. Beware, lest any man spoil you. So as your beloved family member, we the Bible says, Beware, lest any man continue to lie to you. Right. Read. Right. Through philosophy uh -huh. and vain deceit. Read. After the tradition of men. So Christmas, Thanksgiving, right. Right. Halloween, right. Labor Day, right. July the 4th. Right. All of these are the traditions of men. Yes. Right. Right. Read. After the rudiments of the world. After the rudiments of the world. Th this world has us in captivity. This world hates our guts. Yeah. You've been doing you're right. And we hey watch this. Christ already gonna speak on that. Right. Read on. And not after Christ. And these things that we learn here in this world in America are not after Christ. Get Matthew 15 and 3. Read up. This is what Christ says. Let's get Christ's words. Alright? Not this imposter. But let's hear what your your blood family says about these traditions. Read. Let, hey, Michael, listen closely. Listen closely. Read. Matthew chapter 15, verse 3. Uh -huh. But he answered and said unto them, Why do ye also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? Hold on. Slow down. Did you hear that, Michael? Christ is asking you a question right now. He's asking you a question. Read it slow. Matthew chapter 15, verse 3. Bring it up. But he answered and said unto them, uh -huh. Why do ye also transgress the commandment of God? Why are you in the midst of sin? Read. By your tradition. By the traditions that you keep and hold so dear to you. Why are you sinning against God right, to do these traditions of men? Jeez. Why? You want to know why? You haven't learned the truth of God. Get right. John chapter 8, verse 32. You haven't learned it yet. No. So you don't know. The thing of it is, we were all at that point where we didn't know any better. But God is giving us the opportunity to learn his word, learn it correctly, and truly repent. Right. If you don't know any better, you can't really repent because you're going to keep doing the same thing that you know. Right. And it's not of God. You're going to keep perpetuating the traditions of men not of God you understand that but guess what God is going to do for you read this is what Christ says too John chapter 8 verse 32 uh -huh. and he shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free so instead of being in a mental slavery when you learn the truth of the Bible you're going to be set free from the bondage of sin right. you understand that Say that again. How can you get out of it? How can you get out of sin? Yeah. It says, read it again. John chapter 8, verse 32. Uh -huh. And he shall know the truth. When you know the truth, read. 
And the truth shall make you free. So the truth is going to set you free from bondage. But let's find out what the truth is. Get out. The Bible is going to explain and describe everything you need. You don't have to ask us. Well, you can't ask us because we're going to teach the Bible. But the Bible has all the answers. We're not going to teach anything outside of this Bible. You understand that? That's right. Everything, every question that you've had thus far, we've gone to the Bible to give you an answer, right? Right. The Bible says, study to show thyself approved unto God. Right. So, we had to be taught, right. and we're now teaching you. You understand right. that? And this is out of love. Now, let's see what the truth really is. Read. Yeah. Psalms, chapter 119, verse 142. Yeah. Thy righteousness, excuse me, thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. And thy law is the truth. So what is the truth? And thy law is the truth. So when we learn God's laws, we are dwelling in truth. And that is what's going to set us free. Right. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.